What's up everyone? It's Cheese Master here back again with some gold silver crystal Wi-Fi battles. Here we have an OU match against Mark Williams. He challenged me on Skype, so yeah. Let's do this. And he's leading here with his Smergle. I lead with Alakazam. I went straight for the Psychic, not wasting any time. If he went for Spore, I would have to bury to wake me up. But he went straight for the Agility. So now, I thought he was going to Baton Pass, so I went for Toxic. But now he Spores. And yeah, I'm just going to Poison this Smergle. Not going to matter that much, since he's frail anyway. Now, predicting another Spore, I went for Machamp, which is my Rest Talk Pokémon. And yeah, now I'm going to go for the Sleep Talk. He will stay in, go for Super Fam, getting some damage on Machamp. And unfortunately here I get uh, the Cross Chop on Sleep Talk and take Smergle out. Even a Body Slam would be enough, I think. But yeah. Anyways, here comes Alakazam. On that range he can easily take me out with Psychic. So I went for Tyranitar, but he predicts that and goes for Thunder Wave. Good play on his part here. I went for the Pursuit, predicting the switch on his part, since most Alakazams cannot do anything to Tyranitar. And yeah, even with Hidden Power Water, they could do something, but it's not really standard on Alakazam. But I get the Fully Para on the Pursuit, so that was really unfortunate. And Heracross comes in, I don't want to leave Tyranitar in, so I go for Moltres, which is my best check to Heracross. He can switch into Heracross all day unless he has even power rock. So now I just go for the Fire Blast, not going to set up the sun right now. And he switches in Electrode, and Fire Blast has a huge amount of damage to this uh, Electrode, uh, it's a 2 hit KO. And now going back to the Tyranitar as he sets up Light Screen. Uh, now he is just going to leave his electrode in and goes for thunder does a surprising good amount of damage to Tyranitar but yeah now I take it out with earthquake and he, he brings in his Rhydon right now I need to switch out Rhydon can really uh, can uh, easily bulldoze through Tyranitar he sets up curse but I'm not really scared. I have Reflect and Meganium could one-shot him with Giga Drain. But I will go for the Reflect, predicting a switch. But he actually stays in and go for, for Rock Slide. But now I'm pretty much sure that he will switch, so I won't go for Giga Drain. I will just go for the Leech Seed instead. Uh, so anything he brings in will be seeded. I'm I still don't know if he has a grass type at this moment, but he probably hasn't. Here comes his Heracross, he gets seeded, and I'm going to switch in my Moltres again, but he double switches into Vaporeon, predicting that, so another good play on my opponent's part. So here he, I think he wants, to switch, he wants me to switch, so he went for growth, and I went for Sunny Day. Uh, now I'm just going to uh, attack with Hidden Power Grass. I could switch to Meganium, but I don't know if this Vaporeon has Ice Beam. So with the Sun Up, uh, his attacks aren't doing, going to do that much. And Hidden Power Grass does a decent amount of damage to this Vaporeon. He just went for growth again. And here I'm going for, for the Hidden Power Grass again, and I will get a lucky critical hit, which brings him down to red health. And at plus two, he went for a super effective Staff Surf, and thanks to the sun, I'll live it with 87 HP. So yeah, sun doing its work. I just went for another Hidden Power Grass. I thought I would... I... Th I... Th well, I, I could go in for Fire Blast here, because... I kinda predicted his switch into another Pokemon, but I went just for the hidden progress, just in case he wouldn't. But yeah, he brings in Alakazam, which takes that pretty well. 
Here I go for Fire Blast, just in case he wants to overpredict me and go for Thunder Wave instead of the Stab Psychic. But he just played it safe and took out Moltres with the Psychic. Now I bring in Tyranitar and I went again for the Pursuit. I know he's going, he's, he, will, he will, will want to switch out uh, since he can't do it to me. He has uh, Thunder Wave, he has Psychic. So yeah, this time I break to Paralysis and Pursuit almost takes him out. He's at really, really low health. So Heracross comes in again and this time I will go for Rock Slide. My plan is to get some da uh, some damage at, uh, at him and after he takes out Tyranitar I would bring Alakazam in and at that range I could take him out with one Psychic. So he finishes off with Earthquake, here comes Alakazam. Now I went straight for the Psychic, not going to overpredict anything because if he stayed in and I didn't wait for the Psychic, he would one-shot me with Megahorn. So yeah, I'll go for the Psychic, but he obviously will predict that. It's pretty obvious from my part. And he will switch out into his Vaporeon, basically as that father. And now he will bring safely in his Rhydon. I'm faster than him, but he can two-shot me with Earthquake while Psychic. I think it's a three-hit KO since Raiden has a huge amount of HP. But Meganium can take any attack from this thing. So I will just go for the Leech Seed, I think. Yeah, no, I went for the Reflect first, and now I, I will go for the Gigarin, but I forgot, yeah. He's faster and he has recover. So he made a good play on switching an Alakazam and took this opportunity to, re to recover. And he will recover again. And Earthquake isn't doing that much damage to hit to him. So yeah, here it will happen. Uh, it will occur a little stally part. He just goes for recover. I will leech seed him to put some pressure on this Alakazam, but yeah, he went for he won't went for T wave, as I just just going to spam earthquakes and some Giga drains in between. Was kind of hoping for a crit, a crit would put even more pressure on his side. Uh, but yeah, I will speed this part up because it's really stally. It's just basically me attacking and recovering back with Giga Drain and Leech Seed. And he continues go going for recover. I know this wasn't taking me anywhere since he had a lot of. Uh, see, I think recovery is 32 with all the PP ups and he could easily PP stall me. But. And I didn't want to make this unnecessarily long. So, I know I, in order to finish off this Alakazam, I needed to put him on a good range of HP and then bring in my Jolteon safely in and go for the Thunder Wave. Uh, so I here decided to go in with Jolteon. He went for he went for Psychic, yeah, and unfortunately at that range, Thunderbolt isn't enough unless I get a critical hit. Even if he recovers in this turn instead of attacking or, or, uh, or going for the Thunder Wave, it's not enough to take this Alakazam out. He will survive it. He will f went for Thunder Wave here, yeah, to paralyze my Jolteon. Heavily crippling him, but it's going to favor me, as you will see. Because now, I know he will recover, so I went for Growth. And Leech Seed is putting more pressure on him. He needs to recover again. Otherwise, another Thunderbolt would take him out. But yeah, I went for Hidden Power Ice just in case he wanted to switch out to his Rhydon, but he didn't. I went for another growth, predicting another recover, because he he, he seems to wa to want his Alakazam always at more than half of his HP. So I went here again for another Hidden Power Ice. Predicting the Rhydon switch in, but now I'm pretty sure he won't bring in his Rhydon after seeing so many hidden powers. 
So I went for Thunderbolt, and he actually switches here to uh, Heracross as I get fully para on this turn. Now, at that range, I know I can survive an Earthquake, unless he gets max damage, but nope. He, I survive it with 6 HP, and I have a ton pass, the plus 2 growth, the plus 2 special attack to Alakazam. And now, Alakazam said plus 2, I went for the Stab Psychic. And I know he's, he doesn't want to switch out anything on his team would be heavily damaged with this Psychic. Alakazam is on, his, on a range that that plus 2 Psychic can take him out. And Rhydon would be too shot at anyway. So yeah, Psychic will take out his Aerocross easily from that range. And even if at full health, at plus 2 it's more than enough. Here wins the speed tie uh, and paralyzes me which was a... Uh, the best thing he could do, now his ride on is faster. But earthquake, one earthquake is not enough to take out Alakazam and I will finish this game with a psychic that gets a critical hit. I think it mattered a bit but anyways I would ha still have Meganium to take his ride on. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, it was a really good game Mark. And if you want to also do this kind of of battles you can check the links I will leave in the description uh, I still don't have his channel but if I eventually get it I will leave it in the description as well so it's enough for today I'll see you in our next battle so peace out